Uh, the proper recycling and recovery of EV batteries have become even more crucial as demand for Li-Ion batteries has increased alongside the growing adoption of EV vehicles. And data shows that the global scale of Li-Ion battery recycling is projected to rise from $1.5 billion in 2019 to $18 billion by 2030. Now as the world's largest EV co-market, China undoubtedly faces new opportunities. Our reporter Huang Yichang visited a major player in this sector to learn more. Behind me are some of the abandoned electric vehicles. But what happens to their batteries? Today I will take you on a journey to discover how they find new lives. The revving sound you hear marks the crucial first step, lifting the battery pack out of the vehicle. In the workshop, we witnessed numerous AV battery packs that were removed from retired A vehicles. However, disassembly of the 20,000 different types of EV battery packs presents a considerable challenge. You can see that these battery packs all have different structures. Each new energy vehicle features unique battery design, which poses significant challenges for recycling and reuse. With the government's incentive policies, extensive research has been conducted to tackle the challenges of efficiently reusing end-of-life batteries. In the company's laboratory, a newly developed intelligent device has mastered dozens of battery packs varieties, transforming them into several individual battery modules. Then the battery model will only go further disassembly into dozens or hundreds of battery cells. We discovered various types of battery cells at the battery disassembly factory in Jingmen, with the most common one being the square-shaped battery cell used in new energy vehicles. I have these battery cells here that can be taken apart from a battery module. So if you take a closer look, you will notice that each battery cell is made up of several thin layers of something like black powders. And these powders are actually very valuable metals. After undergoing chemical processes, the black powder is separated into four components, nickel, cobalt, manganese, and lithium. At present, our country's reliance on imported nickel and cobalt surpasses 85 percent, while for lithium it exceeds 80 percent. This indicates that China heavily depends on foreign sources for these three crucial metals. Currently, our recycling technology has achieved a nickel and cobalt recycling and recovery rate of up to 99 percent, which means it's almost a lossless recycling process. The final step involves reintroducing these raw materials into the manufacturing process of new batteries, powering the creation of new eco-friendly vehicles. The power battery recycling industry is currently in its early stages. But it is projected that by 2025 to 2030, the industry will experience a rapid expansion. As potential markets expand, more companies are venturing into the battery recycling industry. And Zhang says ongoing technological advancements and comprehensive government regulations will lead to a brighter and greener future for both the economy and the environment. Huang Chang, CGTN, Hubei Province.